we go outside and see? Good heavens, no! It's too cold, Jack Frost will bite your nose off. Who are they? A Girl Scout troop that goes around every Christmas Eve, Carolyn shut-ins. What is shut-ins? People who are either too old or too sick to go out of their homes. Does Santa Claus come to see shut-ins? Santa Claus comes to see everyone who's been good. But what if they've been bad? Santa Claus brings everybody who's been bad. Soot and ashes, doesn't he, Mommy? That's right. Now it's time for bed, so go get your jammers and we'll put them on by the fire. I wish Charlene and Bub had only brought gifts for the children. I'm afraid they've gotten me that expensive silver dish I admired the last time I was in Bub's store. Oh, uh, well. They can afford it. Well, you sent it to the North Pole, didn't you? Yeah. Well, then I expect he did. Santa Claus is going to bring me a bicycle just like Melinda's. Now, Kara Lee, we've told you again and again not to expect that from Santa. But it was first on my list. I'm sure he'll bring it. Mommy, will you read to us the night before Christmas? Haven't you heard that one enough? No! All right, come on. As soon as we put on your pajamas, we'll go get the book. It was the night before Christmas when all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in the hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. When what to my wondering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer with a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles his coursers they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen. On Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As time comes the people are gone. laying his finger aside of his nose, and giving a nod up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim ere he drove out of sight, bicycle down the chimney. It's too small. Well, Santa Claus can get in anywhere. Daddy, we better leave the front door unlocked just in case. Come on, girls. Time for bed. Do you think I've been too bad for Santa Claus to bring me any toys? No, I bet you old Santa Claus made you a special gift with his very own hands. Okay. Ah. Mary, let's get over to the house. We forgot to put out the coffee and cake. Oh, we surely did. Let's kind of little piece of this. Oh, well, my pineapple upside down cake didn't turn out very well. Let's give him a piece of the coconut cake that Aunt Marie brought. Don't forget the coffee. I won't. Now run on up to bed. If little children are awake when Santa Claus comes to a house, he just passes right over.
are so tacky. No, they're not. You've done a great job on the sprinkler bottles and the breadboards. I'm sure everyone has given us store-bought gifts. Not if they're trying to raise a family on $16 a week. And my applesauce cakes wouldn't cook in the middle of that old stove and the neighbors won't even be able to eat them. Me for something else. Right up here, buddy. It's that big white house with the iron reindeer on the lawn. Okay, pal. Boy, look at that meter. A dollar and a half. Hmm. Oh, driver, how much do I owe you? Like she said, a dollar and a half. That's <laughs> incredible. <laughs> Girls, go to sleep now. You got to just north of Redwood City. Well, let's start with the decorations. Mary, you hang up these candy canes and I'll... Rochester, what happened to that box of trunks? We had in the closet. Got bad news, boy. Girls, you want to take this to your mom? Yeah. sofa. <sighs> oh, my fathers. Everything is so expensive. Gas range, $69.95. Washing machine, $42.95. A bicycle like Belinda's, that's what I want Santa Claus to bring me. Oh, well, you're too little to ride a bicycle, Carol Lee. No, I'm not. What's wrong with your tricycle? That's for babies. Well, maybe you can have a bicycle when you're a little older, but not this year, okay? I'm not too little. Which one is it? That's... $23.95? Old Santa Claus sure can't afford that. Why not? Because he doesn't have that much money. And why is it in his catalog? Oh, look. Here are the dollies. I want to see. I don't want a doll. I want to write Santa Claus that I want a bicycle. I think so. But how did he get here from the North Pole? I think he has an airplane that he uses sometimes. Is Miss 
Miss Santa Claus here? Well, I expect she's up at the toy shop taking care of last minute details. There he is! We'll see you at Christmas, all right? Yeah, let me give you a call. Merry Christmas. <laughs> so who's next? Well, hello there. How are you? Oh! Benny! What will Santa think? <laughs> it's real, it's real. So what do you want old Santa to bring you for Christmas, Benny? Benny, tell him what you want. That's all right. I know what you want. And I'll see that it's put right on the sleigh for you, okay? You have a good Christmas, Benny. Here, let me get the candy cane for you. Charlie, come get in line. Merry mine. Christmas. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Who have we here? Tell him your name, Johnny. Well, if it isn't my old partner, Johnny. Johnny, you've been doing good. And what do you want to be when you grow up? You want to be a cowboy? Have you been a good boy all year? And what do you want for Christmas this year? Okay, what else? Do you like candy, and trucks, and toys, and things like that? Well, we'll see what we can do, okay? You just keep being a good boy. All right? Merry Christmas, Johnny. Here, we got a candy cane for you. Merry Christmas. What's the matter, Curly? Aren't you excited to see Santa Claus? He's not the real one. What do you mean? He's not the real Santa Claus. What? Why in the world did you say something like that? Because Santa Claus doesn't wear shoes like that. Well, you may be right about that. President Roosevelt phoned Secretary Early half an hour ago that the Japanese had attacked Pearl Harbor, the United States naval base on Oahu Island in the Hawaiian Islands. Oh my God. A few minutes later, he again phoned Mr. Early and told him that planes had attacked Manila. This means that war is underway between Japan and the United States. This has come to you from the NBC newsroom. How could we have been caught so off guard? Honolulu, a naval engagement is in progress. I ask that the Congress declare that since the unprovoked and dastardly attack by Japan on Sunday, December 7th, 1941, a state of war has existed between the United States and the Japanese Empire. Right, Let's get back to work. Try not to let this distract you. Well, Joe, the world's gone to hell in a handmask. Yeah. It's hard to concentrate on anything else. Yeah, but life goes on. <laughs> yep. Oh, <laughs> 
How about this one? Um, that's too ugly. Well, what about this one? It's perfect size. That one's too small. Too small? That one! What one? That one! Good night, Carol. That one's taller than our house. You can cut off the top to make it just right. But it would still take up our whole living room. You can make it zip. I'm sure we can find one that's smaller. All right, go look for the gumballs your mother asked us to get. Oh, forevermore, Joe, you hang those balls. Uh, don't step on the glass. Carolee, stop eating the popcorn, there won't be enough. I'll hang this on the tree. No, let your daddy do it. Apple man, now see he looks much better with a head, doesn't he? Carol Lee, get off that chair. Hey, oh, you better watch out. You better not cry. You better not shout. I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming to town. He's making a list. He's checking it twice. He's gonna find out what's naughty and nice. What do you mean you didn't pay it? I'll take care of it next week. Well, it's due tomorrow, not next week. What happened to the money? It was my turn to buy the boys a Coke. You spent the money for the light bill on Cokes? I'll take care of it. I'll borrow from one of the boys, and I'll pay it back next Friday. Then we're not going to have enough to pay the gas bill. And I'll have to beg them again not to turn off the utilities. <sighs> Just freaking up. Sir, what can we do for you today? Uh, well, uh, I'd like to talk to somebody about getting a loan. Mr. Phillips over there would be glad to help you. Hello, sir. I was uh, wondering if I could talk to you about getting a loan. Well, you come to the right place. John Phillips. Jill Carter. Please, have a seat, Mr. Carter. So, uh, how big a loan do you want to apply for? Uh, <clears throat> do you give loans for $25? We sure do. $25 is a lot of money to a lot of people nowadays. All we need is some collateral. Jewel? Carter? Do you own your home? No, we rent. Uh, do you have a car? No. Mr. Carter, do you have anything of value? Any farming machinery, any equipment, anything like that? No. But, look, I just need enough money to get through Christmas. I, I work up on Spring Street at Mr. Smith's print shop, and, well, we'll be getting a Christmas bonus soon, and well, I'll be able to pay a big part of it back with that. Do you think your boss might sign a loan paper for you? You mean I'd... Uh... What I'm trying to get at, Mr. Carter, is we need someone with collateral, someone... Um, who would be willing to co-sign your loan paper for you. Someone who could guarantee payment to the bank in case there was a default. I, I don't think I can ask Mr. Smith to do that. Uh, I'm sorry, Mr. Carter, but banks just don't make loans, not even in the amount of $25, without some sort of collateral or some co-signer. I tell you what, you give us some thought. 
See if you can find us a cosigner, or find some way to make the bank feel a little bit more comfortable without the loan. Then you come back and see us. Thank you for thinking of us, Mr. Carter. pretty on our Christmas tree. See how the light catches it? Look, Daddy, what we made! Oh, yeah, I see. Baby, would you hand me a piece of that cedar, please? Thank you. Now, you know what we're going to do with this? No. All right, well, I'll show you. Mm. This is the National Broadcasting we're Company. Take this piece of cedar. The Navy Department has just announced that two islands in the Hawaiian area have been shelled by Japanese war vessels within the last 24 hours. The naval outpost of Johnstown Island figured for the first time in the Pacific action. It was bombarded by ships of the enemy at dusk. On the northeastern coast of the island of Maui, the shipping center of Kalui was shelled by an enemy submarine at about the same time. Damage in both instances is believed to be slight. Naval operations are continuing against the enemy. Wake Island has sustained two additional bombing attacks. And we're going to sprinkle it all over to make it sparkly. The second in the evening was heavy. Sparkly and nice. Wake and, Midway are and then we're going to put these the Here is war in a vase. Number 13, and they'll look real pretty, won't they? Yeah. Do you like that? Theater. Yep. The commanding general of Far East Command reports like that there was a marked Christmas lessening of enemy activity. Yeah. Up on the housetop. Reindeer paws, out jumps good old Santa Claus. What have you got there, Carolee? The Mommy, do this one. Oh, you like the snowman? All right. What's that for, Daddy? What's this for? Oh, here. Come here. Merry Christmas. What? I'm almost finished. No, oh, no, some things are more important than accomplishment. First comes the stock in a ew! Ew, 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 ew. Fill it well. <laughs> ew. <laughs> Hope you have a good Christmas, Mr. Smith. You too, Joel. You too. <clears throat> Here you are. Thank you, sir. I couldn't come up with the Christmas bonus this year, Joel. I know all of you were counting on it. Yeah, things are pretty tough. I've been sitting here counting up what's coming in and what's going out, and I'm barely making my overhead. 
sure was hoping there'd be something a little more. But you've seen how orders have dropped off. So there's, there's not anything. Now that we're in this war, nobody knows what's going to happen. But they're sure not ordering stationary and invitations. No, sir. You know, companies are cutting back, too. Yes, sir. Well, give my best to you, miss. Wish you a Merry Christmas for me. Kids, too. Yes, sir. Well, <laughs> good night. Good night, Joe. See you, Joe. Have a good weekend. down good. That's right. Now pick it up carefully. Look, an angel! Yeah, right now. Sprinkle some colored sugar on it. <gasps> Don't do that, Babby! Oh, no, Babby! Look what you've done! No. Get out of that chair and go wash your hands this minute! Oh, here, let me help you. Oh, it's not so bad. I'm sure they can save it. Come on. Santa Claus will be here tomorrow night. I bet you he's putting toys in his bag right this minute. Is he coming in the airport? Well, uh, if it doesn't snow, he'll have to. With the reindeer? Well, you know, I don't know if there'll be room on the airplane for the reindeer and all the toys, too. <laughs> you get early scrub. Here, give me your hand. Yes. Alright. Here. Bobby, hold these. Alright, Carolee, plug them in. Let's see if it works. Alright, good. How's it look? Good. I think we got it. Hey, here they are. <laughs> Hi, girl. Hey, Joe. Merry you Christmas. Hi. Oh, oh, would you look at that darling flying right here on top of the red Joel, did you say that? Oh, it's a girl. Oh, Carolina, you're back in here. You go take these and put them under your Christmas tree. Give me a hug, Joel. Oh, Merry Christmas. Honey, be careful with that. Don't let the juice splash out. Hey, Joe. Hey, Joe. How are you? Brought the Christmas cheer. Oh, I got the eggnog. Well, hello! Merry oh, Christmas! You look so nice. Thank oh, you! So it's so nice you. Look at all those packages Woo. you've got there. You're tackling hands to get on them. Aren't they right? Oh, come on in here, Merry Christmas. Oh, Joe. Merry Christmas to you. What is that? I made you a coconut cake. Oh, good. Bring it in. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Oh, hello, little Thank sis. Thank you, darling. Hi, bub. It's so good to see you. Merry you shouldn't Christmas. have brought so much stuff. Hey, Julia. Merry oh. Christmas. Merry Christmas to you. Good to see Julia, you. everything looks just beautiful. You inherited Mama's artistic talent. Here, let me get those. Well, what do you want me to do with this? What is it? It's a ham. A ham? For heaven's sake, I'll take it. Carolee, <laughs> would you please come get a platter of cookies and pass them around? Uh, I tell you what, I could use some of that good cheer right now. I'm not sure like to join you in some of that. Well, y'all right. go in the kitchen, I'll meet you in there. Would you look at these darling stockings? Oh, Julia's the smartest thing. She is. Aunt Marie. 
Yes, honey. Look at the jack in the box. Well, let's see. Me and Mommy and Carly made it all by myself. He's adorable. Do you want to go look at your mother's Christmas table? Yeah. Would you look at those cute Christmas cookies? Carly, what is Santa Claus going to bring you? A bicycle. A bicycle? Oh, my. Want to see it? Mm-hmm. Oh, Charlene, it was so sweet of y'all to come all the way here today. I'm so happy to see you. You shouldn't have brought all those gifts. It's very sweet. Bub's on the draft board. Who are they calling up? Single man between the ages of 21 and 35. Not a man with children yet. I'm thinking of joining up. Starting in January, they're going to want over 200,000 recruits a month. Well, I want to help. Defense plants are going on a 24-hour, seven-day schedule. Carly, get off the floor. What Santa Claus is going to bring me? Here it is. For boys and girls up to seven years. Now, Carol Lee, I am sure that Santa Claus is not going to bring you a bicycle. It's too cold to ride it anyway. If I were you, I'd wish for something that I could play with inside, like a doll. I already have a doll. But Jolene's worn to a frazzle. I heard that Santa Claus had given all his medal to the war effort this year, so I'd be surprised if he had any bicycles. But here it is. Well, I think those are last year's toys. Daddy, this is two of this year's toys in it. Yeah, let's put this away. Daddy? Yeah. Santa Claus didn't give all his medal for the war, did he? Honey, this is a difficult year for Santa. No one's gonna get everything they want. I know he can't bring everything, but he'll bring my number one. What are you doing sitting in the dark? I thought you were going to bed. I keep thinking about how disappointed Carly's gonna be tomorrow morning. She'll be happy with what she's getting. She's been talking about that bicycle for three months. Well, she may as well learn now that there are a lot of things that we want in life that we can't have. Well, if only there had been a bonus. Well, even if there had been a bonus, we certainly need a lot of things more than we need a bicycle for Carol Lee. Somehow to get it. Joel! Joel! Have you lost your mind? How can you even think about buying a bicycle? Look, I, I can pay a little down and a little each week. No, Joel! That's what you said about the refrigerator, and we ended up losing it and having to go back to an icebox.
Excuse me, miss. Do you have any bicycles? Yes, sir. Over here. Thanks. Do you have anything smaller? This is all we have left. You don't have anything for a small child? We do have tricycles. No, no, no thanks. <laughs> Can I help you, sir? Yes. Do you sell bicycles for small children? Uh, yes. Right over here. Something like this? Yes! Yeah, that's exactly it. You're in luck. This is the last small bike we have. Ah, it's even a girl's bike. Um, how much, uh, how much is it? It's $25.95. Okay, well, um, I can put $250 down right now and $250 a week. I get my paycheck every Friday. Uh, do you have a charge account with us? No, but I can open one. Well, it's, it's going to take two weeks to run a credit check. That's fine. I can give you all the information. I, I work up on Spring Street at Smith's Print Shop. I don't think we can do that. Um, let me let me let you speak to the manager. Mr. Devlin? Yeah? This gentleman wants to buy on credit, but uh, doesn't have a charge account with us. How you doing, sir? Joel Carter. I can pay something down and, and so much a week for the bicycle. If you don't have an account with us, I'm afraid we can't do that. I can give you three dollars now and and three dollars every every Friday until it's paid off. We're not able to do that. It's the national policy of the store. I'm, I'm good for it. Here it is, Dad. This is the one she showed me. Do you have another one like this? I believe it's the last small girl's bike we have. Isn't it, Mr. Devlin? Yes, it is. Are you buying this bike, sir? Yes, I am. Sir, if you're not able to pay the full amount... My little girl's expecting Santa Claus to bring her that bicycle tomorrow. I apologize, sir, but we can't sell you the bicycle without an established charge account. I wish I could help you. Sir. It's even her favorite color, Dad. Sorry, sir. I for Christmas. You'll just have to wait and see. Oh, please give me a hand. Come on, let's put the bike in the car. Yeah, that it? Yeah, it's got it. Easy does it. There we go. Cover it up. One, two. Almost. And the latch. Am I getting that new record player? <laughs> Good try. Let's go. Your mother's going to wonder what happened to us.
And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, out of the city of Nazareth into Judea, unto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem. And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son, and wrapped him in swaddling clothes, and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. <laughs> And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be for all people. For unto Damn you, get out of here! Go on, get it! This day Come on, move! City of David, get out of here! Savior, which is Christ Go! The Lord. Get! Go! Get out of here! Go! Get out of here! Stop following me! Get away! Santa Claus has been here. Santa Claus. Did Santa Claus come? Yeah, come and see. Did he bring me any toys? Yeah, he sure did. There are several things under the tree. <gasps> what did he bring? Well, we'll have to go and see. Here, get your robe. Here's one for you. Here's yours. Let me help you. There we go. There you go. You got it? There you go. What did Santa Claus bring? Uh, well, yeah, we'll come and see. We'll find out. There we go. Two. All right, let's go. Hurry, 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 hurry. <gasps> oh, wow, look at all that Santa brought. Oh, I've never seen so many toys. Look here, Babby. I believe this one's for you. Look, Carolina. I bet you old Santa made this cradle for you himself. And and look at the doll in it. And and, and the table and, and all the plates. And oh wow. Oof. I bet you that, that Mrs. Santa made this dress for your new doll. Yeah. And uh and and look at all the sheets for, for your crib. Look, they're even embroidered. Come look, Kelly. Let's see if Santa left anything in there. Oh, look, Babby. A car. That's right. And oh, Carolee, look at this. Little sugar fruits for your little dishes. Aren't they just darling? To Carolee, from Aunt Marie and Uncle Paul. Come look, Carolee. Daddy. Does none of us ever get lost in the mail? Well, 
I suppose it can happen. Daddy, see what? Yeah. He can't reach the table. Well, let me see. I bet Mother's button box would build her up to just the right height. Hurry back, Daddy, so we can open all the packages. Carolee, close the door. Look! They woke up our water! They woke up in one of the parks! Carolee, don't touch that horrible old dog! Joel, get him out of here! A puppy was second on my list! Daddy, he didn't have enough animals this year, so he brought me a puppy! That's not a puppy! That's some poor old pitiful dog from no telling where! I'm gonna name him Mr. Christmas! Joel, Christmas, get that nasty dog out of this house. There is no telling what diseases he has. I, th I think if we cleaned him up, he'd look a lot better. I don't want that dog in this house. <laughs> we could put a blanket in a box and, and we could let him sleep in the garage. He must belong to somebody. Oh, I, he was wandering around last night. I, I don't think he has a home. Look, Mommy, he's just the right size. We cannot afford to feed a dog. <laughs> used to eating very much. Carolee, don't touch that filthy dog with that clean pillow. Mr. Christmas, this is your plate. Oh, He's hungry. <laughs> we want to have a tea party for Mr. Christmas. A tea party. Mommy, please. Please, Mommy. Maybe we can give him the bone from the ham.